Hi, this is Doogie and welcome to the Advanced Target Button Tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to keybind the target button and how to customize it. You will find the target button option in the settings menu and now it has its own section called target button. And now it has three different options, target button, show target button and customize macro. If you have the show target button enabled, the floating icon will be visible and you can click on it to use the target button. If you don't like the floating button and prefer to key binder instead, you can do this by going to your macro settings and drag and drop the macro into your action bar. And from there you should key bind your action bar. Now you can untick the show target button option and the target button will still work by pressing on your key bind. In this example I've key binded to R so when I press R I will use the target button. Note that the target button will only work if there is a name available for the NPC in the model viewer. Alright, the next thing I will show you is how to customize the target button macro. To begin, you will need to tick the customize macro option and you can add your own customized macro in the field box. The standard sequence will be to target the NPC followed by your macro. In this example, because I'm a warlock, I will add in cast shadow bolt. So that way I will target an NPC and cast a shadow bolt and this can be done with one click of the target button. So how you want to customize this macro would be completely up to you. For example as a hunter you can add slash start attack and slash pet attack to make yourself auto attack and send your pet to attack the target. Maybe as a rogue you might want to add stealth as part of the macro so that you will try and stealth every time you use the target button or as a warrior you can add charge as part of your macro. One thing to note is that if you don't add a default macro, the macro won't place a raid icon on your target. To get the macro back to the default setting with the raid icon, simply click the default button, then you can add your own setting above or below the default macro. Just keep in mind you do have a 255 character limit, so you won't be able to add too much with the default macro. So now let's test this again. The target button should now target an NPC and place an icon on it and cast Shadow Bolt all with one click of a button. Alright, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you have any question at all about how to customize your macro, don't hesitate to post your question in the macro section of our forum. Alright, this is Doogie and thank you for watching.